Hi, welcome back. So now we're going to discuss how to customize the standard home page in Salesforce. The Salesforce homepage is an important component of the Salesforce experience. With it, we can provide key data or system reminders to all our users. In Salesforce, we can also create custom homepage components to provide custom data, as well as create different homepage layouts for different profiles. So for this example, we will be performing the following tasks. First off, we'll be creating a custom homepage component that will include links to several web tools our company uses. Next, we will also be creating a custom homepage layout for our salespeople, adding relevant homepage components to this layout as well. Then lastly, we will be assigning our newly created homepage layout to our relevant user profiles. So to start off, let's just go to Setup, go to Build, Customize, expand on home before going to home page components. Within this page, we are able to see all standard and custom components available. For standard home page components, we can click on the actions besides them to customize the standard components further. But for our example, we will be creating a component of our own. So let's click on new under custom components. So custom components can be of three kinds. Links, which is a collection of custom links in the system, image, which can be a logo or a company badge. And lastly, we can also create an HTML area where we can create a fully customized HTML component. So for example, we will be creating a links component that will host a lookup to our USPS lookup service that we created for our web tab earlier. So let's just click on next. So next we're going to enter the name of our component, which is web tools and our type, which is links. So let's click on next to proceed. Next, we're going to add the links that we're going to show in our custom component. So currently, we already have pre-built our USPS lookup link. That basically is a link to the page we created earlier. So let's just click on that, then click on Save to finalize our new custom component. So after creating our custom homepage component, we can now start creating our home page layout. So first let's go to customize home and click on home page layouts. On this home page layouts page, we can now click on new to create our new home page layout. Next, let's select the home page layout that we want to use as the template for our new home page layout. So let's just select home page default and the name of our new custom home page layout, which will be Mojo Home. Let's click on save. Finalize our layout. So after saving our layout, we are now going to select the components that we are going to show within our homepage layout. So there are two kinds of components that are in a homepage layout. First, we have the wide components and also we have the narrow components. So the narrow components are all the components that are included in the sidebar. So let's just go to home to show you an example. So this here are the narrow components in the homepage. Well, this particular area here, which includes the chatter and the calendar and the task list are all of the wide components that our homepage layout. So for our narrow components, let's select portal sidebar search, tags, portal solution search, recent items, create new, as well as web tools. Let's click on items to approve and add it to our wide components area. So, as well as our tasks, our and our calendar, as well as our dashboard snapshot. Let's click on next to proceed. So next we can order the components around, ordering it from top to bottom. So first let's order create new up top, and let's retain portal sidebar search at second, and let's put web tools just behind portal sidebar search. On the wide column, we're going to switch around the, the order of the components and put dashboard snapshot up top, calendar next to it, as well as tasks under it, and items to approve with the last part of our wide column. Let's click on Save. So after creating our homepage layout, we can now assign our homepage layout to the different users and profiles within the system. So just click on Page Layout Assignment, click on Edit Assignment. So from here, you can assign 
a homepage layout to the different profiles in the system. So to do that, let's just set our Western sales to Mojo Home, international sales to Mojo Home, system administrator to Mojo Home, as well as our portal users, which is high volume customer portal, set it to Mojo Home. You are also going to set our custom sales profile to Mojo Home as well. Let's click on Save to finalize our page layout assignment. So there you go. We just assigned a new home page layout to the different profiles in the system. So to test this new home page layout, let's just go to Home. Since I'm a system administrator, I might be seeing a new custom home page layout. So as you can see here, we have already applied our new home page layout to myself since I'm a system administrator and we assigned this home page layout to the system administrator profile. So as you can see, we have the web tools here, uh, the recent items and the recycle bin. So as you can see, we don't have the portal sidebar search since we're not a portal user, but please expect to see this portal sidebar search for all high volume customer portal users. On the wide column, we can also see the dashboards, the calendars, my tasks, and the items to approve. The ability to modify and customize homepage layouts provides us administrators a way to influence the user experience for all our users. With the homepage being the jump off point for the whole system, the ability to manage the homepage is important to ensure that users are able to use the system successfully. So in the final video of this section, we will be discussing chatter and how we can set it up to increase collaboration within our organization.